All right, guys, we're here. We're back. Demo 2016. Roman Castro from Spiro Nation. I'm here with DeeperBlue.com, and we're at the Gannett booth. This is Garo. Garo, by far, has, oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> Garo, by far, has the nicest looking booth. I love the decor. And the best products. Yeah, 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 the best products, of course, of course. Well, here we go. So, so uh, let's take it back a step. Tell, tell me how, how you, because uh, you're a relatively new company. Yeah, right. we're in our third year. Perfect. And uh, crushing it. I see you guys in, in other shops. What's the... Uh, Gain momentum. Can you Gain momentum. Yep, it's good. What was the inspiration for starting the brand? The inspiration for starting the brand was basically I've been, you know, I got certified for scuba when I was 10. I was an Aoi instructor by 20. I've been a PFI instructor for a long time now. I've been spearfishing my whole life, and I've been through basically most of the products on the market. I've seen the limitations, and you know, I've been designing my own guns for a long time and my own everything. And three years ago, I decided to make it a profession. So oh, that's perfect. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So tell us uh, what you're sharing here at Demo. What 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 uh, what are the what are the new products that are coming out? This is our 2017 line, and new for 2017 are a few things. We've added two blue water floats. We, our original was 100 pounds of buoyancy, and now we added a 75 and a 50 pound buoyancy blue water float. They're 29 PSI, meaning that they're a true two atmosphere float, structural stability at 66 feet. I mean, it, you still have the full amount of buoyancy at 66 feet. The float has a flat top and bottom, which allows it to glide or plane on the surface of the water instead of dig like a traditional round blue water float. Um, you can hop back on the boat, get up to full plane on your boat, 20 knots, and the 100 will just kind of skim behind you. It won't dislocate your shoulder? It won't dislocate your shoulder. It won't <laughs> engage your breakaway if you're shooting a breakaway for tuna. Um, and it's great in current. You barely even know it's back there. You don't have to gather up your float line to do a dive. You can just give it a tug, and then you're on your way. Awesome. Perfect. Um, the other thing I noticed is the, uh, your float lines. Your float lines look thinner than the traditional float line you're used to seeing. A few of them, yeah. So we have the uh, skinny float line. Um, that is the, that's half the diameter of a regular float line. It's still the traditional PVC over um, Dyneema build, 800-pound uh, core Dyneema in the skinny, 1,400-pound in the regular. And we also build a skinny hybrid line, which is less than 2 pounds, 100 feet. Um, very high buoyancy, very lightweight. It's uh, puncture-proof. So a traditional PVC float line, you put a little pinprick in the, say, 50 foot mark of a 100 foot float line, that's going to fill with water, it's going to sink. The PVC by its nature is not buoyant. It's the air that's encapsulated in the float line that makes the float line buoyant. So the, what we have is a proprietary blend of MFP, and that is by its nature buoyant. So you can stick needles in it all day long, it's going to remain buoyant no matter what. Oh, that's awesome. It, it, so it, not only is the, is the material that the float line, float line is made out of uh, buoyant, uh, but is, is it also air trapped inside? No, that's the beauty of it. It's not one of those traditional builds. It's at the, by its nature, the MFP is buoyant. That's cool. Awesome. Um, and what are these? So these are our floats that are designed for kelp. Uh, these are our floats that are designed for kelp. We call them the snake float. We have them in two sizes and two colors this year. New for 2017, we're putting out the longer size, a little bit more flotation, and we're coming out with the yellow color, which is a little bit more, you know, obviously visible in the water. Um, what they're meant to do is you put it on the back of your float. If you have our float line, it's just a loop to loop. If you have a traditional float line, you know how your hardware is sinking behind you. If you're in the kelp, you, get, you can't really run a real float, uh, but you do need the buoyancy. So you put one of these on there, you can swim through the kelp, doesn't get snagged up, and it marks your shot trail and lets your buddy knows where you are. Um, it turns out that a lot of guys are using these for, uh, for uh, their pole spears as well. On, their, on a float line or directly to the pole spear in the Bahamas, when you have a really good viz, you don't really need much float line or float, but you do want to mark your shot trail. You want to know where your, you know, That's good. basically where your, uh, where your pole spear went, and these are, these are good for that as well. Perfect. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. And so just, like, I'm always trying to do these things for multiple things. So I would probably put some clips on the end of that thing and use it as, like, a, as like a, like a gun sling. Sure, making your way down the that's clip or something. You know? Yeah, why not, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's padded. Yeah. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah. So like, you know, when you're making that, that walk down the trail to the to, to shore dive. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting, huh? Yeah, that's it. That's a great idea. Right. Right? And then you just go here at Dima. That's good. Line <laughs> <laughs> hey, I should pay you. <laughs> awesome. For 
2017, we're coming out with uh, gunslings. <laughs> <laughs> the Roman gunsling. I like that. Perfect. That's what cool, a great right? name, right? Cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, right? It works. What about um, your floats? Tell us about your floats. Okay. So in this corner, we have more of our recreational freediving floats and our hunter-gatherer float. We call this the coastal float. This one is going to take the place of your, you know, banks board, boogie board, whatever you do. It's got a giant gear, uh, catch bag integrated reinforced deck if you're hunting for spiny lobster it's not going to puncture the board it's very lightweight so you can pack your fins into the the cargo net whatever else you need it's got a shoulder strap and then you're down the trail kick out to where you're going to dive go dive come on back plenty of room for your abalone or your you know, your reef fish or lobster or whatever you're whatever you're diving um the you know one of the main benefits of this is that it is inflatable it lies flat when it's deflated and packs away nice and easily it's nice and light so you don't have much weight if you're hiking down a big goat trail or whatever um, so these are our more recreational and competitive free diving floats this one's our diver float it's a little bit bigger it has the spider web on top so it's a meant to be either a staging line for a competition or for an instructor who's going to have five six students out in the water and you know is going to do his lesson it has its uh, personal effects pockets for weights and such. Um, a lot of hand holds, a lot of D-rings, plenty of real estate to teach class from. This is our competitive free dive float. It's got a little bit smaller of a footprint, so when you're coming up to do your surface protocol, you don't have to back too far away from the float to grab it. You got a clean surface protocol there. A uh, little less buoyancy, but you know it's meant for competitive free diving. Um, although I do have a lot of instructors using this float as well. Awesome. We have integrated dive flag holders. Um, everything we build has a lifetime warranty. Uh, that's including material and construction. We have a second stage of our lifetime warranty. If you decide one morning to run this over by your boat and it's not really all, fart, all fault, um, we'll sell you a new one for half the price. Oh, that's awesome. That's lifetime, of the float. lifetime of anything we build. That's, that's cool. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so we're here. We're talking about free diving. Uh, is this your solution for a, a line diving line diving setup yeah so we are now offering retail line um, competitive recreational and instructional lines they are ADA marked meaning that every well so you see the yeah. the last three meters is the candy cane um, ADA compliant bottom plate with a compression nut you can take this nut off the plate lies flat the lines nice and light it floats um, it's actually the same MFP that we use for our float lines. It's got about a 1,400 pound braking strength, not that you'll ever need it with a recreational or a comp line. And it's marked every five meters. So you can see the 30 meter mark, and then a tick, and then a 20 meter mark, and then a single tick. So when you're teaching or you're diving, you're training a certain depth, you can set your line to that depth and dive to the bottom plate and back. Um, we offer them in 20, 40, and 60 meter lengths, and we do custom longer lengths as well. That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's go back. So new for 2017, we've added actually a traditional float line build because uh, we found that building our own hardware for our floats, we can now justify having a traditional build. It's very high end. Everything is made in the United States. It's you know manufactured and the materials are built in the United States. Our new proprietary hardware is swiveling. This is our Gannet tie, 1,800 pound braking strength for our Gannet tie. So it far su supersedes the the actual ranking strength of the line, the, the uh, Dyneema in the core is 1,400 pounds. Um, so you're actually getting a true 1,800 pound breaking strength float line. Not that you'll ever need it. You can't put that amount of pressure on a fish. I know that the market tends to say that, you know, oh, we have like, you know, 5,000 pound breaking strength on our line. First of all, everything is only as strong as its weakest connection. So if you're looking at the biggest, baddest tuna clip out there, the really heavy duty ones, that's only a 700 pound fail rate. So no matter what kind of core you have in this float line, it's going to fail at 700 pounds if you have a tuna clip on it. Now, our Ganatai is actually designed specifically ground up for spear fishermen. It's not a main line to branch line, long line clip. That's what a tuna clip is. This is what we looked at to design what precisely is ideal for spear fishing. So it's quiet, it's soft, you got no hardware banging against your gun. It's an 1,800 pound braking strength, and it's fully swiveling, integrated into the hardware. Does, does it swivel under pressure? It does. Now, granted, the greater pressure you put on it, it's not a ball bearing swivel. Okay. So, you know, if you're putting like 1,000 pounds of pressure on it, it's going to swivel, but it's going to swivel 
slower and it's going to be tighter. So these are designed, I mean, I'm putting quite yeah. a bit of tension on here to swivel Perfect. under pressure. Nice. Uh, but again, it's not a ball bearing swivel. So the more pressure you put on it, the more tight it's going to get. Yeah, we couldn't get the tinsel strength to be high enough with a ball bearing. Oh, we tried it. Uh, it would be cool, but you can't get an 1800 pound brake with it. It's, those swivels, you know, they fail at like, if you're lucky, 400 pounds. And, I, and a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, I did see all of you guys is testing your show you're putting on, on online. Those are cool. Yeah. So, so we built our own dynamometer. We test everything we build. So we basically fail everything we build. We have failed the floats. We failed the float lines. We just, you know, put pressure on them until they break. So we can honestly say and market that these things break at whatever it is. The fail rate is that because we know it is. We have it on film. Awesome. So there you have it. This is, uh, again, like I think it's another, another innovation in the sport. You, you, he's building gear from the ground up from the perspective of spearfishing. So this is really cool. Can you uh, tell us where, we, where these products are available and all your social media stuff? So we have an authorized dealer program. We have dealers on the West Coast, Mid Coast, East Coast. Um, if you're in San Diego, James and Joseph. If you're in Orange County, uh, Spear America and a few other dealers just picked us up at the show. But we have dealers all through the Florida and uh, on the East Coast. Uh, our social media is GannetDive. Dot com. That's our website. Our social media is Gannett Dive Co. on Instagram and on Facebook. Awesome. Thank you for giving us all this information. See awesome. You back in San Diego. Yeah. <laughs>